Today is beekeeper's favorite day. It's uh, honey harvest time. Uh, this is the first extraction of the year. And uh, for those of you who haven't hunt, harvested honey before, I prefer to use a cold knife. I know a lot of people like to use a hot knife. But uh, one thing about honey is heat will destroy the flavor of honey. So I do not heat my honey. Um, I use a nice, sharp, serrated edge. Uh, cold knife, it works fine if people use it correctly. Um, the main thing with using a cold knife is um, you have to utilize that little curve in the front to get the, the low points out and you have to use a sawing motion. So you go back and forth, back and forth. I've seen some people take and try to heat these knives up in hot water and push them like they're a hot knife and they don't work like a hot knife at all. And the other thing is, is you go from the bottom up versus the top down. Hold it against the wood firmly. And this one here has got really excess cappings on here, but that's okay. We'll just get a lot more wax. And then you peel it off. Okay. And that goes in your uncapping tank. And you'll have to crush that up and uh, let it set in a warm room and you can uh, get a lot more honey out of your uh, supers that way. Again, go from the bottom up on the other side. Now before we started this you measured it for moisture uh, content. Yeah, we measured the moisture content. Um, this had some uncapped cells and capped cells. The ones that were capped were below 17% moisture. The ones outside the cappings, I think it was 17.8. And I know my refractometer reads um, on the high side compared to the expensive ones. I have a cheap refractometer. Uh, gotta be careful with these uh, serrated knives too. If you go too deep, you cut through the wood even. <laughs> So, because they are sharp. So you just want to keep it rested against the wood. Looks like you could use a bread knife. You could use it. If you have a good bread knife, I use those before. I've seen people use fillet knives for fishing. Of course, they have to be pretty long. Um, most people use medium frames, but this knife will do deeps and mediums. So. Okay, and now you got to perfectly Oops, get this piece off here still honey left in there huh oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. I see it yep there's a lot in there and then we go into extractor this is a radial extractor Maxant with the uh, motor on it. You know, I also have the hand crank but I just switched over to a motor um, and it will hold uh, six frames at a time. Okay and say by the bell. Say it by the bell. <laughs> okay you can cut now. <laughs> got six frames in the uh, honey extractor and we have a variable speed uh, motorized extractor from Maxant and uh, it works pretty well. We're in the radial mode. You know, Bring the camera in a little bit here. So we have six frames in there. You just start the thing up. And we usually go slow. You can see it slinging against the side here. And it's slinging all over me. Is it? I'm kidding. It no. isn't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go slow first because the frames are pretty heavy. Um, also, it'll equalize it because some frames would, uh, might have more honey than the other ones. Uh, so probably it can start to wobble a bit. So, so like you don't need good. to put the lid on. Well, they, rec when you they, go they faster, recommend you do, right. but if you want to watch what's going on, you have to open it up. But it has two stainless steel lids. The main thing is when you first start off, you don't want to get it too high um, for the uh, 
sink and get fucked in the honey. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. All right, well, it's getting a little high, so it starts to Well, I, I, I can, no, it, you can tell because it slopes off. Uh, oh, I, I, I can I can tell you where it's going to be. Okay, now it's at, it's at high speed. It's not at full speed. It's still on the router uh, control mechanism. But since we're using wax frames, I generally keep it uh, at that speed. And uh, For about how long? Well, we can go uh, do the... Another honey super. And let this thing sit there and spin. So, 20 minutes. Well, when you stop seeing it swinging against the side like that, that's when you stop. Okay. I don't know what time that is. <laughs> okay. All right. That's it. And here's um. So that's seven frames worth of. Capping. Six frames. Six frames. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> Six frames worth of capping. Yeah. So far. Okay. Okay, we opened the uh, honey gate, and as you can see, the honey's uh, fairly light so far. We do have a blend here of light honey and dark honey. You gotta talk loud so they can hear you. I know, the motor makes a lot of noise, so. <laughs> but, uh,. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good. It's looking fantastic. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> There's a little bit of shed a little bit of light on the honey. We need some violin music in the background. Yeah, there you go. John <laughs> Toby. There you go. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it for now. Okay. This is a uh, frame that we took out of the uh, radial extractor and uh, I don't know if you can see in this video here but the uh, uh, portion here at the top the honey is pretty much all extracted but if you come down to the very end um, there you can still see nectar in the cells here. So what I like to do even though I have a radial extractor I'd use this for the primary extraction and I put these things back into the, the extractor in a tangential mode. Reason being is because the centrifugal force at this end is much greater than this end. Consequently, you will find uh, honey in these lower cells and not in the upper cells. Uh, to correct that, you can put it in the tangential mode, which would mean you have to put it in this way. And you got to be mindful of the fact that these have... Um, the cells are built at an angle so you want it such that when the extractor is spinning that whoops it's the wrong way around that it spins such that the uh, cells will extract and fling it up against the side here so since the cells are at this angle and it is spinning in that direction it will uh, knock out the uh, honey. So that's a little tip. I'll show you what it looks like after I do all six of them. Okay, I have three frames in the uh, tangential mode and I also have three frames in the radial mode. Um, we're going to have to flip these frames over so we can get both sides, but I'm going to give you a little demo here on uh, the honey extraction and tangential. Flinging out the honey. This is the result of uh, the ones at the lower part of the uh, frame that the uh, radial would not extract. It can be extracted if you put it in tangential mode, and you'll find that you can uh, get a bit more honey out of each frame if you do this. It's a little more time-consuming, but it cleans out the frames very nicely. Uh, 